Hey guys, welcome back to another Slightly Redneck video. Again, my name is Chris. If you're familiar with my channel, this is going to be a little bit of a different kind of video. I've got something just tearing up my yard. I know for sure it's an armadillo. I'm going to take you around, show you the damage it's doing, and exactly how you can tell it is an armadillo doing it. And then I'll tell you some things that you can do about that. Okay, this is just a, a section of my yard. It's going to be really kind of hard to show on video, but there's just these little holes all over the place. Here's one right here, and you can see it's just, uh, oh, about that big around, and probably about, oh, that deep. Just a little hole dug in the ground. There's another one just a couple inches over. Uh, right here, it's been kind of tilled up quite a bit. Here's another one, another little hole dug. Here's another one right here. Uh, I mean, they're just all over the place. There's one right there. I don't have to go but just a couple of inches. And it's like that through my entire yard. I mean, all out through there, there's just holes all over the place. And that is a telltale sign that it's an armadillo. Little holes about that big around, about that deep. Let me show you another sign here. Okay. All right, this section right here is my fence. Um, and this is where he's been coming in and out. And you can see it's kind of been uh, dug out where he can just get underneath it. And I filled it in just a little bit, um, but this is where he's been getting in and out. I stuck a piece of rebar down through there, this piece right here, just to keep the dog from going underneath the fence whenever he's out and about. Uh, but this is you know, exactly where he's coming into the yard. He's going around in my yard over here, eating all the grubs, digging them all up, and then he's leaving back out there. And he lives out there in the uh, wooded section somewhere. I'm not sure exactly where his home is. I'll show you another section real quick. All right, out right along the outside of my fence right here. Um, you can probably maybe see that on camera, maybe not, but there's another section where, you know, just little holes just dug up all through this section right here. A couple of bigger spots where he's like right here. Um, I don't know if you can see that or not, but, you know, just chewed up right there. There's a big hole right here, big hole that he dug out right there. This is just, I mean, classic armadillo um, destruction. They just dig holes like this. Usually they're not that big. Usually they're a little bit smaller. And they just dig them. I mean, this whole section right here has basically been tilled up. And it's what's not showing up on camera. It's all real soft. I mean, there's, there's a hole, there's a hole, there's a hole, there's a hole. There's another one right there. Uh, there's one right there. There's one right there. There's one right there. I mean, they're just all over the place. Show you one more thing. You can kind of see this hole right here. It's not really a hole. I filled it in because um, it was a pretty big deep. I mean, it was um, oh, I don't know, a foot, a foot and a half dug underneath there. What had happened was I was staying my deck last week and I had that canoe sitting out here in the yard, and he came up underneath the canoe, the front end of the canoe, and he dug himself a little tunnel right underneath there. He was going to build himself a home right there, but you know, I ended up disrupting all that, so he didn't get to do that. Um, haven't seen him back since then. All right, so as you can see by the video, it's pretty obvious whenever you have an armadillo doing damage to, to pick out what it is doing it. Um, if you just go out and you see one hole dug in your yard, it, it, you know, it could be a cat, it could be a, a dog digging a hole, it could be a squirrel burying something, you know, any of those kinds of things. But with armadillos, it's multiple holes and very close together. Um, usually every foot, foot and a half or even closer than that. They'll almost look like they till up a section of ground. And you're looking for that telltale hole about that big around, about that deep, and multiple of them. If you see that, almost guaranteed that it's an armadillo. I was actually able to confirm this. Um, I knew for sure it was an armadillo going around. Just could tell by the damage it was doing in the yard. But I was able to confirm this the other day when I took the dog out. Let me show you the cell phone video I shot there. And I'm gonna apologize in advance because it's a little bit shaky. I wasn't really prepared to shoot video. I just came out the door and there he was. So I grabbed the cell phone out real quick and took some video. All right, so like I said, it's a, you know, dark early morning. I mean, I think it was about six o'clock in the morning, maybe a little bit later than that. Just taking the dog out for his morning bathroom break. And there he was out in the yard digging up some grubs. Um, one thing you can tell right away is that armadillos are pretty stupid. Uh, they, they're about half blind, about half deaf. He doesn't even realize we're there. I mean, we're making all kinds of racket back there. And he hasn't even noticed us yet. You can just almost walk right up on them. So pretty easy to control. And I'll talk about how to control them here in just a second. Uh, but when Whenever he figures it out, you can tell my suspicion was right. He goes right out the uh, the fence. There he was. Figured it out. Goes right out the fence, right where we said he, right where I said he was going in and out, and he goes off into the field. 
Now, if you've confirmed that it's an armadillo, what do you do about it? Well, what am I going to do about it? I'm not going to do anything about it. It's really not a problem for me. They can be way more destructive than that at times. Um, some people have problems with them digging holes under the foundation of their house, up next to their air conditioner units, uh, that they want to uh, dig a burrow right there. That's kind of where they like to live. He's probably living off in the woods back there. Uh, because I've got that kind of wooded section back there, he's probably found an old stump or something like that, and he's dug himself a burrow right underneath there. But so far, he's not doing any real damage. I mean, he's digging some holes, but after a couple of rains, they'll fill themselves back in. It's not that big of a deal. I really kind of think he's probably doing some benefit for me because, you know, they feed primarily on grub worms. And uh, we've got a bad problem here now with Japanese beetles. So I'm kind of hoping that he's going through and cleaning up a bunch of the Japanese beetle grubs and eating those things up and maybe won't have a big problem with Japanese beetles next year. We'll have to wait and see. But if he does become a problem for you, if they do start doing damage to flower beds, garden beds, Beds, digging under your foundation, digging under your uh, you know air conditioner units, those kinds of things, and digging great big holes in your yard because they can do that sometimes as well. It's pretty easy to take care of these guys. Look for an area um, that's like my fence where he's coming in and out through the fence. You should be able to find an area like that pretty close by or where his den is. You'll be able to find a hole and what the den looks like it's just going to be a hole that's dug down in the ground and then goes back. Pretty obvious that it's an armadillo and you'll know that it's it's fresh. It won't have like a bunch of dead leaves stacked on top of it. It'll be, it'll be used. So you'll see the traffic marks that he's going in and out, in and out, in and out. If you find a place like that or right there through the fence where he's coming in and out through the fence, all you got to do is take a live trap like one of the big metal wire live traps. You can usually, uh, sometimes your local conservation department will actually loan those out. If not, you can pick them up from any kind of local farm supply store or order them on Amazon. I'll leave a link below where you can order one if you need to. That will be an affiliate link, so if you click on that and you order something, I'll probably make a dollar or two off that. If that bothers you, go look it up on your own. If not, I appreciate you guys contributing to me. Uh, but all you do is take that trap, set it right in front of that fence, oh, maybe this far from the fence, take a couple of boards or sticks or logs or whatever and put them as kind of a funnel right up against the fence so when he comes through the fence if he goes from one side to the other he hits those boards and it funnels him right into the trap you don't need to bait the trap or anything like that like i said armadillos aren't very smart they're half blind half deaf he's going to come through that fence he'll hit that log and think oh i can't go that way and he'll just follow it right into the trap pretty simple pretty easy to take care of same thing if you find his den where he's where he's living you can do the same thing. Just set the trap right in front of that den, about that far away, put a couple of logs or something like that up there to create a funnel. When he comes out, chances are he'll just walk right straight into that trap and be trapped. And you're not going to have any problems catching him. What do you do with him once he's trapped? Okay, if you guys don't like my answer, don't blame me. This is uh, from the conservation department themselves. I do happen to kind of agree with them on this, but again, I'm not trying to be a, uh, I don't know, some people are kind of sensitive. You may not like this idea at all. It's not really a good idea to take the armadillo and release them somewhere else. If you take them out into the middle of the woods and you let them go, um, chances are they're going to be competing with other wildlife out there. They're going to have a hard time surviving anyway, so it's really not a good idea. If you let him go somewhere else, anywhere near a residential neighborhood, you're just making him somebody else's problem. What the conservation department suggests doing is euthanizing that, um, that armadillo, which brings me to my next point on how to control them if they become a problem. It's super easy to catch an armadillo, or not catch it, but to find them. And the best thing is probably just to spotlight them and shoot them. It's the simplest, easiest things if that's a means that you can do. And you can even use a high powered pellet rifle and take care of the job, just you know, aim for the head. Again, I know that that's not uh, pleasant for everybody on here, but um, you know, it's the quick, it's the most humane way to, uh, to take care of, uh, to dispatch an animal if you have to do that. And uh, if they're doing enough destruction that you have to get rid of them, then that's probably the best way to do it. And as far as like finding them, if you find a spot like um, in my yard where they've been digging it up, just go out there at night. They're nocturnal. They pretty much spend all night doing that, and they're going to come back to the same spots over and over and over again. So if you just go out with a bright flashlight at night, you're almost guaranteed you're going to catch that armadillo out there. They also make a lot of racket. So if you go out at night in the area where you've seen the damage and just kind of hang out, you're probably going to hear them going through the leaves and be able to find them that way. Shine a spotlight on them, you can walk almost right up to them and just shoot them and take care of it. So again, I know that's not pleasant, but hey, that's the way it works sometimes. Sorry. Again, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to worry about it unless he gets into my yard, starts digging under my house or something like that and doing some real damage. Uh, that, that's, uh, I mean, as far as the holes in the yard, I don't care about that at all. I kind of think maybe he's being beneficial eating those grubs for me. Hopefully, after a couple of rains, they'll fill themselves in anyway. So it's really not a big concern for me. 
But, you know, if you live in an area where, you know, maybe you've got small children or um, elderly people, they're out walking around a lot and they're digging big holes in there, I mean, those could be a real risk. Somebody steps in one of those, trips on those, breaks their ankle or something like that, you may have to do some further control. What I did is I put a brick on the other side, a big cinder block on the other side of my fence where he was coming in and out, and that seems to have stopped him from coming in my yard. He's still out in the field and he's eating up stuff out there, but I don't really care. I'm not doing anything with that field. It's not that big of a deal. So for me, I'm just going to let him be. He probably lives back there in that wooded section with the groundhog that lives back there. That groundhog's lived back there for years, hasn't caused any problems for me up here. I'm happy to have him. Doesn't bother me one bit. All right, so hopefully this video helps you out. It gives you some ideas on what to look for if you think it's an armadillo. Pretty easy to spot. You'll be, you'll be able to know for sure if it is. And uh, gives you some ideas on how to take care of it if you need to. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think if you've had experience with armadillos and handled them some other way. And uh, as always, God bless.